Okay. So I'm here to talk to you today uh, just a little bit because, um, you know, I fig finally figured out what it is about zombies, um, why people are interested in them, why we like them, why the myth persists, um, why we care. Um, the fact is that zombies exist to, um, as, as a vehicle to teach college students about ethics and moral reasoning. And these, these are college students um, and that someone is trying to talk to them about ethics and moral reasoning. So, I teach courses on digital age ethics um, at UNC Chapel Hill for the computer science department. Um, and we talk about the usual topics, right? Social media, net neutrality, file sharing, right? They all want to talk about mega upload right now. Um, video games, but really what they want to know is what is it doing to my brain? What is it doing to my head, right? Do I know how to have friends anymore? Um, is Google really making me stupid? Are video games turning me into some kind of a psychopath, right? They want to know what is happening to them. And my metaphor of choice really for, for teaching them or for talking to them about these subjects is zombies. Okay, so why zombies? Well, you need an apocalypse to talk about ethics. I mean, everybody knows that, right? So this, this is my favorite kind of apocalypse. Um, zombies are, are, they're not particularly smart, right? They're not good looking. Um, they're not sexy, they smell bad, they're slow, they're not intelligent, they're not homeowners, right? Um, unlike their cousins, the, the vampires who are definitely, they have beautiful modernist homes and jazz collections on vinyl, they're fabulous people. Um, but zombies are not attractive, right? They're plodding, they're kind of nasty, you don't want them after you, right? They, they are driven by appetites that they do not understand, and they have no idea what they're doing with their lives, and that is why they're applicable to college students. That's why college <laughs> students understand. Because the only thing scarier than, than being chased by a zombie is becoming a zombie, right? And my students are afraid that they are becoming zombies. They may not know it, but when I'm done with them, they know that they're afraid of becoming zombies. So we talk about the future, right? A class about technology is always a class about the future in, in its own way. And now, you, you know, so the, the, back to the apocalypse, right? You need an apocalypse. I, I tried the cyborg apocalypse, but the problem with the cyborgs is that they're too practical, right? My students are completely up to just accepting that cyborg subjectivity is here to stay, right? Everybody's going to be wearing computers in five years. They want to talk about advanced prosthetics and things that are actually happening, right? If you really want to get involved in moral reasoning and talking about the apocalypse, um, you have to have something that could never happen, right? You have to have a zombie apocalypse. You can't talk about cyborgs, they're too practical. For my students, anyway. So, to talk about moral reasoning, where do we start? Here are just some topics for your use, right? You can talk about science fiction. Easy, science fiction is the greatest place in the world to start when you're talking about uh, digital culture, technology and culture. Um, talk about zombie machines. You think the Terminator's a cyborg? No, zombie. Um, racial anxiety. Okay, this image, many people don't know that the earliest introductions of um, zombies into Western fiction, film and literature, um, were basically having to do with racial anxiety. And this is a, a, an image from a text that dealt with um, an evil Haitian white slave owner and his Haitian um, zombie slaves. Um, so we can talk about context versus content, we talk about software bias, we talk about globalization, that kind of thing. They're also interested in mind control. Students are very interested, as I said, in whether they are t actually turning into zombies. Um, very interested in the idea of internet addiction, so to speak, so we talk about that. Um, we talk about hybridity, obviously, in the same way that zombies are about hybridity, the same way uh, cyborgs are about hybridity, right? Dead, alive, human, not human, hungry, not hungry, you know, I mean, where does the, do they digest zombies? We don't even know. But the most important question that I ask my students is what are you going to do when all the technology is gone, when the world we've created collapses in on itself and no one is watching except a swarm of hungry demons, right? What kind of world are we going to make based on our ethical choices? What are you going to do when you are the last man left or the last woman left facing that swarm, right? The, the huge, uh, the streets of New York full of zombies and you're the last one. Do you step out the door and join them? I ask them to stop and think about what kind of zombie they really want to be. Thank you.